You've probably heard of steam locomotives being referred to as a Pacific, Atlantic, Northern, or Mikado type. These names refer to the wheel arrangement, and there's a lot of them. But where did these titles come from? Also, I'm not going to go over every single one, just some highlights. You can look at Wikipedia or Google for a full list. The first ever steam locomotive, Richard Trevithick's Colebrookdale, was an 0404 couple type. It was built in 1802 for Colebrookdale Ironworks, and a similar engine, the Penny Darren, was built in 1804 for the Penny Darren Ironworks. These weren't exactly referred to as a four-coupled, but they later received that designation for having four wheels coupled together, allowing it to move. This type would be used in 1825 on George Stevenson's Locomotion No. 1 for use on the Stockton and Darlington Railway, the world's first public steam railway. In terms of more successful locomotives, we move on to the 022 Northumbrian. It was first used on Robert Stevenson's rocket locomotive in 1829. Northumbrian came from the Northumbrian locomotive, built in 1830 for the Liverpool and Manchester Railway. This engine is described as being one of the first modern steam locomotive designs, with the location of the tender, firebox, horizontal cylinders, boiler, smokestack, and smokebox all being followed in future designs. The 220 Planet type was first used on the Liverpool and Manchester's Planet locomotive in 1830. It was another step towards the modern steam locomotive design with the addition of a steam dome. The famous 440 American type was developed in 1836 by Henry Rowe Campbell for the Germantown and Norristown Railway. Increased power, stability, and overall size led this type to be incredibly popular in the following decades, spreading all across railroads in the United States, and thus was deemed the American type. Our first six drive wheel engine is the 460 10 wheeler. The Chesapeake was the first one built in 1847 for the Philadelphia and Reading Railway. It was named 10 wheeler for, well, having 10 wheels total. The first true 260 Mogul was built for the Louisville and Nashville Railroad in 1860. The Mogul name is said to have been derived from a 260 locomotive of the same name that was later built in 1866. Details are slim to none on the origin otherwise. Also in 1866 came the first 280 consolidation for the Lehigh and Mahanoy Railroad. The class name came from the first of its type being named consolidation, which by definition means the action or process of making something stronger or more solid. The consolidation type would go on to be used in heavy drag freights. In 1875 we got the 262 Prairie. While the first 262 was a tank engine built for the Cape Government Railways, the first tender engine variant was built in 1884 for New Zealand Railways. The Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy would begin using them in 1900 for use on lightweight Midwestern Prairie Region branch lines which earned them the nickname. The 282 Mikado was introduced as an experimental type on the Lehigh Valley Railroad in 1883. Meanwhile, the 282 9700 series was built for Japan Railways in 1893. The Japanese Emperor was referred to as the Mikado in English, or literally translated as the Honorable Gate. The Mikado, also a comedic opera, premiered in theaters across the US and UK in 1885, achieving great success. This led the name to stick to 282 locomotives by the early 1900s. The 210 Decapod was introduced in 1886 with the Northern Pacific M-Class. Experiments in the late 1860s on the Lehigh Valley Railroad with this type were unsuccessful. The Northern Pacific used them to power trains over the very steep gradients on Stampede Pass. The name Decapod came from the fact they had 10 driving wheels, a Decapod meaning a 10-legged crustacean. Introducing the 442 Atlantic. In the US, newer and larger passenger locomotives required a trailing wheel to support the weight of the firebox. This type was popularized by the Atlantic Coast Lines I-Class in 1894. These engines were used for fast passenger trains, and other countries soon adopted their own variants. New Zealand Railways got the first 462 Pacific in 1901. A larger firebox was needed to burn low-quality coal, thus a trailing wheel was added, evolving from the UB 460 class. It was built by the Baldwin Locomotive Works of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and sent to New Zealand by ship over the Pacific Ocean. Its name came from its voyage over the Pacific. 
These versatile locomotives became extremely popular for passenger service, however, some could be seen pulling freight. The 2102 Santa Fe type came as an improvement over the 2100 in 1903. Decapods were prone to derail at higher speeds while reversing, so a trailing wheel was added. The Santa Fe Railroad was the first to use the 2102 with the 900 class, thus the name stuck. The 482 Mountain was first used by the New Zealand Railways X class in 1908. They were built to power trains over the mountainous North Island main trunk line, hence the name Mountain Type. The Northern Railway of France introduced the first tender engine 464 in 1911. Built to replace the railway's Atlantic types, they were given the name Baltic after the Baltic Sea. The New York Central Railroad in the U.S. would build their own famous 464 starting in 1927. They were called Hudson's, named after the Hudson River that the railroad ran parallel to. The Milwaukee Road would build their own class of 464s in 1930, retaining the Baltic name. The 2104 Texas type premiered in 1925 on the Texas and Pacific Railroad. Their name came from... well, that's probably obvious. The Santa Fe had some experimental Texas types a few years prior, but they became famous on the Texas and Pacific. Also in 1925, the Lima Locomotive Works produced the first 284 Berkshire for the Boston and Albany Railroad. They had a route through the Berkshires region of western Massachusetts, and the new type was built to replace the Mikados on that line. The iconic 484 Northern was built for the Northern Pacific Railway in 1926. Can you guess where the name came from? Other railroads, though, had different names for them. 484s were Niagara's on the New York Central, Confederations on the Canadian National, Greenbrier on the Chesapeake and Ohio, and Potomac on the Western Maryland. Drastically increasing in size, we get the 2884 Yellowstone built for the Northern Pacific in 1928. The railroad had a line called the Yellowstone Division and also ran to Yellowstone National Park. These engines gained more popularity with the Duluth Mesabi and Iron Range in 1941. Keeping the theme of huge engines, the 4664 Challenger was first built for the Union Pacific and Northern Pacific in 1936. Challenger came from the fact they were built to challenge the task of hauling long and heavy freight trains over areas like the Wasatch Grade on the Union Pacific. To complement the Challengers, the 4884 Big Boy was introduced in 1941 exclusively for the Union Pacific. They were originally going to be called Wasatch after the Wasatch Grade, but an unknown employee wrote the name Big Boy on the engine. As one of the largest steam locomotives, well, ever, the name was aptly deserved. The 2666 Allegheny was built for the Chesapeake and Ohio Railway in 1941. On the Virginian Railway, they were called Blue Ridge. Their names are derived from the mountain ranges they were meant to conquer. The last few I'm going to mention don't exactly pertain to one single wheel arrangement, so, uh... Lightning round, go! The Camelback was developed in 1853. Its rear looks like a camel's back. The Forney was created by Matthias N. Forney in the early 1860s. The Fairley locomotive was patented by Robert Francis Fairley in 1864. The first one to be built was the Progress, an 0440T in 1865, followed up by the Mountaineer in 1866. The Mason Bogey was first developed by William Mason in 1871. The Malay, a compound steam locomotive design, was first designed by Anatole Malay in 1876. The Shea was developed by Ephraim Shea. The first one was built in 1880. The Climax was built by the Climax Manufacturing Center in 1888. The Heisler was created by Charles L. Heisler in 1891. And in 1906, the Garrett was created by Herbert William Garrett. But the first one wasn't built until 1908. So there you have it. A whole bunch of steam locomotives and where their wheel arrangement names came from. I'm sure there's far more variations, but like I mentioned at the start, Google and Wikipedia are there to help. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.